Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and right now we are going to start part two of our submitting a form with Ajax. So in the previous tutorial I told all of you that you need to have an ID and a name for all of your fields, you need to have a submit button, and your form also needs to work. So it needs to have a method of post and it needs to go somewhere. So if we see in the previous tutorial I showed you guys that I have a simple form here. So if you just type in Kevin and you say this is cool and you submit the form, it goes to a success page and if you come into my database and I browse this database you will see Kevin this is cool. So so far we have a form that works but it does not work the way we want to. We want the form to submit with Ajax. So the first step of what we are going to do is we are going to take out this input submit button. We don't want this um, form to actually submit anymore. We just want the form to just look like a form. And basically, we're going to create another button that will do all of the Ajax that we want to happen. Because basically, what happens is the user clicks this submit button, and then the form will jump up to the submit form action or your submit form.php or whatever, and it will say that it wants it to be a post and it will go to that new page and it will do everything with that form. But instead what we want to do is we want this to just be submitted with Ajax. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take out method post and we want to take out action submit form. Just take it out. We are no longer going to do that stuff. And the second thing we are going to do is we need to take out this input type here. So we no longer have a submit button. So if we save this and we go back to our form and we refresh it, there's no more submit button. So what I want you guys to do is you need to come somewhere outside of your form tag. So you still have your whole form. And then after the closing tag, I want you guys to say button. And in that button, I want you to say submit form or submit query or submit comment or whatever. I don't care what it says, just make the button. So now when I refresh it, we have a button that says submit form, but when you click it, absolutely nothing happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an on-click event that will call an Ajax function that will submit all the contents with that form. If it doesn't make sense now, let's just start doing it and I promise it will make sense later. So the reason we took out that submit form um, in here was because we no longer want that action to be carried out that takes us to a whole other page. Now we are going to do all of those actions with this button with an on-click event. So as you guys can see right here, I have an embedded JavaScript file. So if you don't have an embedded JavaScript file yet, I want you guys to make this. So just say script, have a type of JavaScript, and have the source file or whatever your JavaScript file is called. So make sure you put this at the bottom of your um, page. And here I have my JavaScript.js here, and it is in the same directory as you guys can see here. So I have form.jsp, which is this, and then I have javascript.js, which is right here, and I'm referencing it with this line, all right? So, now we want to actually make this submit form do our Ajax submission. So one of the first things we are going to have to do is we're gonna to have to add an on-click event for this button. So just say on-click, and now let's write the function. So let's say submit form. So what this is saying is when the user clicks um, when the user clicks this button, I want to go to a JavaScript function called submit form. And the um, an HTML, your HTML browser will know that it's a JavaScript function because it has these parameters here. So now what we need to do is we need to go into JavaScript and make this function. So come into JavaScript and just say function, paste the name of it, and then give me some braces. So in here, we are going to write all of our Ajax that will take place when the user clicks this button. I hope you guys are following along now. All right, so in JavaScript, I want you in this function, I'm going to write a whole bunch of code and I'm going to explain everything afterwards, all right? So just follow along with me, write the code and I will explain it once I'm done. So I want you guys to say var Ajax object is assigned null. Then say if window dot XML H T oh, XML make sure that's capitalized HTTP request request 
Then we want Ajax object is assigned new XML HTTP request. Q U Q U E S T. Then else if Ajax object. Oh, I'm sorry. Else if window dot active X object. Then we want Ajax object is assigned new active x object microsoft dot xml http alright and the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is if ajax object does not equal null then do a whole bunch of stuff else alert you do not have a compatible browser for this action all right we just wrote a ton of code and i know what all of you are saying chris what on earth does this mean unless you guys watch some of my previous ajax tutorials then i know you are lost so i'm going to explain all of this i promise so the first thing that we did was we made a button over here and we said, when the user clicks this button, go to this JavaScript function, the submit form JavaScript function. So what our browser will do is it will jump here to this JavaScript function and carry out everything that is in the function. All right. So now we know how we got here. So now let's explain what is going on in here. So the first line of code is saying, I want to create an Ajax object and I want to assign it to null. So I'm just creating the object but, it, but it, it, it doesn't have any value yet. Then what you're saying is, if the window that the user is using, so if the browser that the user is looking at your page accepts H XML HTTP requests, then you want to configure an AJAX object that will utilize XML HTTP requests. But if the user's browser accepts ActiveX objects, then you need to configure your Ajax object to take ActiveX objects. So basically, there are tons of different browsers out there, and a lot of the most modern browsers will accept active um, or will accept XML HTTP requests. But some of the older browsers, like some of the older Internet Explorer browsers, will only accept active x objects so this is saying if the user has a more modern browser we want to configure an ajax object that will look like this but if they have an older browser configure the ajax object to look like this then the next piece of code is saying if the ajax object is not null so as you guys can see in the very beginning of the, tour, of the function, we said Ajax object is assigned null. So as long as Ajax object got some kind of value within these two if statements, then we want to do all of our juicy code in here. So this will be getting all of our values, sending out to the server, all that kind of cool stuff. But if the user has not does not have a compatible browser meaning that the ajax object is still null so it came to this one and it said nope it's not xml http request and then it came to this one and it said nope it's not window active x so it's still null that means we need to alert the user and say we're sorry but you cannot do this action with your browser all right, and what we are going to use this Ajax object for is this is the Ajax object that will be sent to our server and it will carry along all the information from our form. So this Ajax object is what we are going to use to be able to send all of our information to the server. So that's why we had to create it and we create it a special way depending on what the user's browser is. So I hope this bit of code makes sense to you guys. I hope you guys now could write this and explain it to anyone who asks you. And in the next tutorial, we are going to write all the juicy code that will actually send out all those parameters. So I hope you guys are uh, enjoying this series. Thank you all for watching and I really hope that this tutorial was useful.